Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this fourth real-life test of the ultimate diving watch, the 20,000 feet by Swiss Military Watch. My name is Frank Berg and I'm the CEO of Montrouchard Max, the manufacturer of the 20,000 feet. We are here in a quarry, in a still active quarry, just outside of Sissach, a town in Switzerland about five kilometers away from Liestal where we have our headquarters. On my right, you see Mr. Klosner. He's a specialist, an explosive specialist with the local police force. Mr. Klosner, thanks a lot for coming by and for helping us with this project. Out of curiosity, have you done anything like that before? No, I haven't at all, this kind of work. I didn't. What do you think? I mean, you, you said you haven't done anything like that before. Do you expect our watch to succeed or do you think it's going to be torn apart? Well, that's a good question. I'm wondering if she will succeed, but I guess she, she will. I mean, we would be, obviously, we would be quite surprised if it didn't, but uh, we will know in a few minutes. Mr. Klosner, now, just to, you know, to clarify the, the effect that such an explosive might have, if you would put that type of explosive, that amount of explosives, underneath a car, what would happen upon detonation? Well, you can't use the car anymore, so uh, the, when, you, you, when you put it under the car, uh, it will open the, the bottom of the car, and the gas will go inside the car and the windows will break and everything inside will be destroyed. Okay, so uh, the same thing could happen to a watch, but hopefully not. I do my best, but, oh well, I'm wondering. To add a bit of authenticity, we decided not only to test our timepiece, the 20,000 feet, but to test a timepiece of one of our competitors to see if both watches would be able to withstand that pressure. Now, as a lot of you know, uh, a lot of the high-end watch manufacturers, they don't really have their watches undergo tests like that. What they do is they give their watches to some superbly looking models using the watches on a catwalk, but they don't submit them to real-life tests. We're going to change that. Mr. Klosner, could you please confirm that the watch is still working? Still working, yes. Thank you. Welcome. You just witnessed two explosions which we um, effected on one of our timepieces, 20,000 feet, and a timepiece of one of our competitors. The first explosion, we used a 125 grams of the explosive. The second explosion, we used twice that amount, 250 grams. I would now like to ask Mr. Klosner here on my left the, some details, to tell us some details about the type and the strength, especially the strength of the explosives used. Mr. Klosner, could you give us some details, please? Yes, we used first a uh, gum seat uh, with uh, 125 grams with 5,000 meter per second explosive strength and about uh, 900 liter uh, gas uh, per kilo. And we used the same explosive in the second uh, explosion we did with the 250 gram 
also comes hit with five times meters sec per, per second. Yeah. What you also witnessed is that the 20,000 feet, while being flung away, it still remained rather close to the explosives in each occasion, on each occasion, while our competitor's product was completely smashed, it disintegrated. The only thing which we found after a long search was the buckle.